Hello everyone. This is Isabel. Today is June twenty fifth. Ah, can you see it? <laughs> um. Yeah. So June twenty fifth is Dragon Boat Festival in Chinese culture. So. In lunar calendar, um, today is May fifth, um, so that's the a different system than solar calendar. Um, so this festival is a very important traditional Chinese festival, and during that time, people will eat uh, zongzi. Uh, we call this Dragon Boat Festival in Chinese is Long Zhou Jie. I'll put the Hanzi here. Long Zhou Jie. And um, or you can call it Duan Wu Jie, um, or they have a lot of names, like different version of um, the same. It's talking about the same festival, but the most famous food is zongzi. It's um, bamboo leaves and wrapped sticky rice, and also some people may put different flavors in it, like with uh, pork or with uh, beans. Or with uh, sugar, so you can make it either taste salt, salty, or taste sh um, like sweet. It's up to your own decision. And there's a lot of like contemporary uh, variations. There's a lot of YouTubers are presenting how to make zongzi nowadays. Um, a little bit history about. Dragon Boat Festival is people try to memorize uh, a famous scholar. Uh, his name his name is Qu Yuan. Um, so he sacrificed himself, or he committed suicide in a river, and people are trying to memorize him because he's a very important prime minister of one of the countries during the Warring State um, period. Um, so he's from. Uh, he's from Chu Guo, so and then <laughs> people will make the zongzi throw into the river and trying to rescue him, uh, so his body will not be eaten by the fish. So that's a little bit story or legend about this historical hero. Um, and then during the festival, people will do like a dragon boat competition. Uh, when I was a little kid, um, I remember my hometown hosted one very important international dragon boat competition when I was like the second year in the middle school. And we are a group of middle school kids are sitting in front of the um, like beside the lake, and we have the auditorium, and and we are holding all the balloons and. When, when everybody was ready for the competition, we are trying to sing a song and for the celebration, and um, let all the balloons fly into the sky. That's our task for <laughs> for that important international dragon boat festival. And later, when I moved to Charlotte, there is a Asian festival. They also do the dragon boat competition, uh, and there is a lot of teams organized by different organization like. Bank of America, or Wells Fargo, they, they all have their own team. So it's a fun festival and exposure to different cultures. And a last piece of fun fact is um, Dragon Boat Festival is also my birthday on lunar calendar. So my birthday is the May 5th in lunar calendar, but my um, solar calendar birthday is May 30th. So um, it happens that when at the year when I was born, these two days are coincidentally overlapped. Um, but each year, the May fifth are falling into um, either late May or early June or late June. So it's around about this time range. Mm, yeah. So that's the story about Dragon Boat Festival. I hope you learned a little bit um, Chinese culture today and. Stay tuned to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.